Yeah, I had opportunity to talk at the the RAB conference, and it's it was very much a theme of the fact that radio is still the ugly sister to so many of the other media that we have available to us. And it's pretty sad if you consider the fact that it's such a beautiful storytelling medium that 30 million South Africans tap into this thing for an average of about three hours a day, and yet it's neglected. So collectively, I think we looked at the responsibility and who that responsibility lies with in terms of making sure that we propel this medium forward and really utilize it to the best of its capabilities. From a storytelling perspective and the ability to entertain, you really have opportunity to engage. So we looked at some of the trends in terms of making sure that the script writing really is up to scratch and that the production value is up to scratch. I think because it's a medium that you can turn around in such a quick period of time, um, it's treated very hairy, hairy casual. And um, because it's a cost effective medium, um, the feeling is that you don't necessarily have to invest that much time, energy or conceptual ability behind it. And it's a shame that we have um, as much poor quality radio on our, our airwaves that we do today. And if you think about the fact that radio is a very personal medium, um, it's up close and personal, you're in people's very private spaces uh, while they're getting ready for work, while they're in their journey, um, in their car, on their way to work in the morning. These are all moments where people very introspectively are in their own personal environment and they let the radio waves into that and yet we bombard them with absolute rubbish in terms of communication as marketers. So there's a real opportunity to make sure that radio um, has the, the, the right production value behind it to make sure that we not only scrutinize the quality of the content, but also the selection of voiceovers, the time to make sure that we pre-prod like we do with many other mediums in preparation for going into production. Um, and, and truly finessing the quality of that output and utilizing uh, this, this thing that we're able to bring to life in a very quick way, but also in a way that is with decent quality. I think some of the, the unique opportunities that we have with radio is the fact that it is such a tactical medium. You know, no other medium can you really bring something to life in a couple of hours and send it through to station to be flighted later that day or early the next morning. And we, we see it with brands like Nando's historically in South Africa, where a brand is, is able to be cognizant of its environment and reflect something in the communication that showcases the fact that the brand itself has an opinion. People are absolutely surprised and delighted by that. And all marketers need to be able to take advantage of that. And radio is the perfect medium in which to do so. I think more brands can demonstrate the personality, obviously in keeping with their, their specific tone and manner and strategy, but we have ability to reflect not just information about the brand itself, but showcase the fact that the brand understands the environment within uh, which it operates. Uh, what's happening in the news, what's happening in the media, what's happening in popular culture and be able to reflect that in a way that is relevant to the brand that they're speaking about. And radio is a very quick way of being able to get on the airways. Uh, an example that we did recently was for Wimpy when there was that little kid that during the Bafana match found his way onto, you know, onto the field and it was on every single radio station from a news perspective. It was on every single person's tweet and Twitter for and everyone's Facebook tag. But yet no brands out there seem to, to catch on to it. And I mean, we, we did it for Wimpy and it ended up being very well received, but that's just a small example of, of uh, more of these tactical situations that people can take advantage of.